Yeah, here's a little before and after shot of the tubes. This is the tubes that I purchased, and this is what I'm using now. I'll show you how I changed this into that. I could only get these in the clear. So what I find is that the light is, is pretty harsh because you're looking straight at the LEDs and there's no diffusion. So what I did was I picked up some of this uh, Rust-Oleum frosted glass paint to turn these clear tubes into frosted tubes. And there we go. It's about two coats of the frosted glass paint, maybe 10-15 minutes apart. Let it dry and it's uh, got a nice frosted glass look. And I'll go see how that looks. There's the uh, zoomed in shot of before. The after. You can just get a soft glow from HLED. I think that looks a lot nicer. One thing I had tried before that actually didn't work out so well is I had read you could use uh, like a saturated solution of Epsom salt and then brush that on the clear surface and it would give you a frosted effect. Of hard to get a uniform finish and with the light cycling on and off and warming up and cooling down I was getting a snowstorm of Epsom salt crystals coming off so I'll be cleaning that off. reason I did try that was it was inexpensive and if it didn't work you just wash it off with some water and you're good to go for another thing. That's the one downside of the frosted paint is on glass you can remove it with like acetone but on the plastic it's permanent. One tip if you're thinking of doing this is apply one coat see how that looks and then apply another coat and see how that looks. You can always apply more but you can't ever take it off. So I did two coats on that light. I'm going to try three coats on the next tube just to see if there's any difference. Yeah, here's one last look here. These, this is two coats of frosted paint, and this one is three coats. There's just a slight difference. You know, I get a kind of a larger bright spot under each LED. So that uh, frosted effect, I think, really makes a difference. I would have purchased frosted tubes if they were available in that color temperature and size, but they weren't, so I figured I'd get the tubes and I can always change the look of the tube pretty easily. So that was the Rust-Oleum frosted glass spray paint and uh, yeah I think that works pretty good. It was about $11 a can from uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description so if you found that helpful give the uh, video a thumbs up. Any questions or comments uh, put those down below. You can subscribe to my channel for updates, and as always, thanks for watching.